Yeah, you ask for exposure or prayer to be answered, something to be seen, illuminated, so you can move forward. You wanted this out of your life. Oppression. Yeah, you're releasing this. Whoever these people are, or the situation is, or coworkers, they're moochers. They could be as, as simple as somebody lazy on the job, and you are a hard worker. You're, there's a, you want to come out of this energy. Yeah. I don't feel like you like this energy. You don't like being around this energy simply because it could be because it's, it's just depressing. It doesn't serve you. It's exhausting. And I see in a potential you have, you feel like there's a potential for ruin. Now for someone else, there were some moochers who are really, they're, they're going through something. They're feeling stuck. They feel like they're ruined because something you call for exposure. Hey Scorpio, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey and I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising sign in North Node of Scorpio. For those of you who would like to know, I'm clairvoyant, they're sentient, they're audience, meaning I hear, see, feel energies. I also dream dreams and have visions. And I also, sorry, I interpret dreams as well. So let's get into it, sweetheart. I'm here every Friday, first of the month and mid-month. Let's take a look here. What is that? All right, you're coming out of your own energy. I like that. Let's see. Hearing secrets. All right. Okay. Be humble but fierce. Let's see. All right. There's something that you might need to take a look at, Scorpio. I feel like, or, yeah, because you might be taking an emotional approach. You might be taking an emotional approach. Let's see. Hold on one second, sweet spirit. What's going on, sweet spirit? Mid month, first half of the month for Scorpio. Okay. Growth. Hmm. Let's see. Growth and instinct. Hmm. All right, there may be something that you knew about. An answered prayer. And I feel like someone may want you to be humble about something, but you're like, there's no need for me to be humble in this situation. I'm releasing it. Something may, someone wants you to see something their way. But they're really not, they don't have the best intentions with the gossip card there. They could gossip a lot. Or there's gossip about this. So let's let's keep digging here. I'm hearing something about make your way. So I don't know if you're leaving out of something, you're leaving something. Because you're like, this is not a time for me to be humble. I have somebody that, somebody that could be a cross marcher. You're, you may be doing something out of your emotions and there's a need to be humble. But for the majority of the Scorpios that I'm reading for, which I'm going to focus on that. I see some type of growth here. You've had to stand alone on something. There was a bunch of people and you were alone.
and I don't think they were very nice. I don't think they had good things to say about you. They may have seen you, I'm hearing, as a weaker vessel. But I feel like you have your in, you had your instincts about this. And you could have been praying for some type of exposure on something. Because you wanted to release something, someone, or something that lurking around that just wasn't for you. Wow, what is this? See Scorpio. Tell me more. Tell me what's the growth card? What? The tower. Yeah, so I feel like whoever these people were, this could be co-workers. It could be somebody. I, I I hate to talk about that, but it's coming up. Someone could have tried to cause some type of problem in your life and you had to go it alone or has been trying to cause you some type of problem. But the whole time you were growing anyway. You still were growing. And you're still growing. And you've got the three of wands here. So your instinct was to leave something behind. So I feel like you left something behind way ahead of time. Clarify prayer. And I almost feel like you're praying for something to be exposed so you could move on from this. Something that was confusing, 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 Confucius, why would I say that? Something, maybe somebody's watching a lot of karate movies or something, I don't know. Something that was, is confusing, someone could be learning Chinese, I'm hearing that as well. Something that was confusing. I'm seeing the initials B, first, last, or middle. I'm also getting the name Betty. So, yeah, you asked for exposure or prayer to be answered, something to be seen, illuminated, so you can move forward. You wanted this out of your life. Oppression. Yeah, you're releasing this. Whoever these people are, or the situation is, or coworkers, they're moochers. They could be as, as simple as somebody lazy on the job, and you are a hard worker. You there's a you want to come out of this energy. Yeah, I don't feel like you like this energy. You don't like being around this energy. Simply because it could be because it's it's just depressing. It doesn't serve you. It's exhausting. And I see in a potential, you have you feel like there's a potential for ruin. Now, for someone else, there were some moochers who are really they're they're going through something. They're feeling stuck. They feel like they're ruined because something. You call for exposure. You call for something to be seen that was hidden. It's a prayer answered here. I don't, and I get the feeling like you didn't know that this was going to happen or you gave up on it. You felt like it never was going to happen or you felt like it wasn't for you or maybe the information was wrong or what you're feeling is wrong. But because of you did, it's like this is what I'm getting. Because the universe, because the universe is looking at it because you trusted yourself and you trusted your prayer or your instincts, justice and victory are coming along here. So something is coming along for you, Scorpio. Okay, some type of opportunity, balance. It's coming because of a prayer that I feel like you forgot about. And there's a need, you're, you're, this is you feeling like there's no need for me to be humble in this situation. Because I don't know if somebody's saying, well, you're not being humble, you're not being kind, you're not being understanding about this. 
but you're like, nope, I'm releasing this because whatever this energy is, it oppresses you. It's oppressing. It doesn't serve you at all. This is oppressive energy. It doesn't, doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't make you, it's of no benefit to you is the way you're feeling it is what I'm picking up. It's of no benefit to you. So yeah, there's some type of balance, some type of victory taking place for you in the next, the first half of the month. Because you said, doesn't serve me. And you gave it up. I'm hearing gave up the ghost. I don't know if you just let it go and gave it to the universe or someone in this circle that you know could be passing on. I do see a cemetery here. My condolences. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But let's get your affirmations for this first half of the month. I'm also open for personal readings if you're interested. And if you like this video, hit the like button or subscribe, all right? And I'm here every Friday, beginning of the month and mid-month. All right, so your information is I am energy. I am energy. Energy cannot be destroyed is what I'm getting. Energy can only be, it can only recreate. So I feel like you cannot be destroyed. That's your energy feeling like, yeah, I am energy. I can recreate at any time. Archangel Gabriel is help Gab, Gabriel, sorry, is helping you to think more clearly in all decisions of your life. Yeah, I feel like something this is helping you to see more clear, more of value of who you are. Whatever is taking place here is really helping you put you in a position of power, feeling more powerful about yourself, more confident able to it's helping you whatever your next endeavor is that you're doing it's helping you with that helping you to be more confident knowing that you are capable all right i'm seeing the initials are first last middle initial i first last middle initial lucinda i'm hearing the name lucinda linda jeremy joshua Unique, okay. Princess. Peaches. Mary Lou, okay. Angel. Angel Bay. Okay. Archangel Chamuel is helping you to open your heart to more, open your heart more and show more loving qualities to others. This is helping you to free you up to have better connections, better relationships. I'm hearing the name Camille. It says, I am enough. So this is your affirmation. I am enough. I am energy. And let's get you one more. I am a creator. Again, I'm telling you, whatever's taking place here, I am knowledgeable as well. It is, it is helping you understand that you are enough. You are a creator. You are energy. You have the power. You also have manifestation capabilities. I want to say that as well. So I don't know if some type of manifestation is coming through that you've been, something you've been wanting and manifesting. Um, it's definitely putting you in a confident seat is what I'm getting. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. A confident seat. I've never heard of that. And I just saw 222 two, two again, which is balance. So thank you so much. Thank you, Scorpio, for allowing me in your energy. I do not take it for granted. That being said, those of you who are new and want to know more about me, because it's important to know about your reader, there's a link in the description box below that will take you to my website. Um, and yeah, or there's a link at the bottom somewhere. Um, and also, if you want to find me again, hit that like button or subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you Friday. Peace, health, and harmony to you. Take care.